Bottlezine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of beer from Omnipolo in Sweden. It's a bottle of their Hypnopompa, which is an imperial stout brewed with marshmallows and Tahitian vanilla beans at 11% ABV. Sounds fantastic. Pick this up from my brand new uh, bottle shop just up the road. Ridiculously close. Dangerously close. He's got a great range up there, as Gavin, at the triangle. And this was one of the first ones I spotted that I, I had to pick up. What does the glug kind of um, indicate? I don't know. I know there's like an anti glug kind of petrol can. I mean, that's the first thing that popped into my mind. Is it because of viscosity? I don't know. Velocity, you tell me. Sonosity of some sort. Awesome looking label. <laughs> it's googly eyes. <laughs> Why wouldn't you put googly eyes? I guess it's been hypnotised, hasn't it? So, beer in the glass, absolutely black as night. Not much of a head at 11%, you wouldn't really expect it. Lot of, lot of residual kind of sweetness, lots of kind of legs on that glass. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like toasted marshmallow. Dense, I mean intense, dark chocolate, maybe cherry. There's something slightly vinous about it. I'm getting kind of quite a rich red wine note. Yeah, vanilla. I mean, it's a really intense like vanilla extract. I mean, this is vanilla beans, but the wife's got some really kind of intense vanilla, vanilla extract, extract for baking, and it smells like that. Yeah, there's something slightly, there's definitely like a burnt edge to it. Lovely sweet edge though, that's beautiful. Yeah, toasted marshmallows and vanilla. They've really nailed it, I've got to say. It smells great, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Ho ho. Yep. <laughs> I was just back up at um, the, the shop where I bought this and the, a friend of the owner kind of said um, that he, he bought this and then came and bought some uh, another bottle of it the next day because he had this kind of taste memory of it. He, he kind of like, do you know you can kind of, just, I personally, I've got, I can remember things like that completely as well. I say, I mean, um, if you show me a beer, I've got a good idea what it tastes like, if I enjoyed it. And this has got such a memorable kind of flavour, you know what I mean? I can tell you quite a lot about it now without taking another mouthful, but I won't. <laughs> oh. Straight off, big coffee, big roasty coffee. Nice chocolate, quite a dense, I'm sorry, once again, an intense, bitter chocolate. Um, there's a burnt caramel edge in there um, in the form of. I'm not talking about crunches, like as in Cadbury's crunches as the um, uh, kind of chocolate bar, but proper handmade cinder toffee. It's got that bitterness that you get from that burnt um, edge of of, um, of caramel and sugar. Reminds me in a lot of ways as a slightly slightly bigger version of a founder's breakfast now. Yeah, nice velvety, velvety um, chocolate. Bitterness from dark malt. Maybe a hint of... There's a spirity edge in there. Clearly that's the alcohol. It reminds me of some kind of... Maybe maybe slightly whiskey edge. I know, there's no, I know it's not barrel aged all, but there's something kind of spirity in there. Mm. But it's absolutely delightful. Smooth, creamy. Full mouthfeel, maybe slightly lower full mouthfeel, but really nice. And the head, which I, I didn't have at the start, is kind of chasing it as well, which adds a little creaminess to it. <coughs> Carbonation's fine. Excuse me. Stupidly drinkable for its ABV. I don't know why I've waited so long to try this beer. I will be buying some more because that is absolutely top draw. I know they, they do a barrel aged version of it as well, which I can only imagine how good that is. Hopefully, I'll get to pick some up when I'm over in um, in Denmark. You know, I mean, it's not a million miles away. 
So that's a bottle of Omnipolo from Sweden. It's a bottle of their Hypno Pompa Imperial Stout brewed with marshmallows and Tahitian vanilla beans at 11% ABV. Really seriously good stuff. I'm impressed. I'm Rob from Hobzine.com as well. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.